From being a three-time Olympic gold medalist sprinter to becoming an icon for balancing motherhood and an athletic career, here's all about how Shelly Ann Fraser Price beat parents in her son's sports day race. Shelly Ann is not someone you'd like to be next to in a race, even if you're a professional sprinter yourself. Some of these competing parents might not have even known exactly who they were up against, so let me explain who Shelly Ann really is. For starters, she's considered by many to be one of the fastest women on earth. Back in 2008, she competed in the Olympics in Beijing, and on her first attempt at the biggest stage for athletes, she came back home to Jamaica with a gold medal. In the 2012 Olympics, she had to defend her position in London, which she effortlessly did, maintaining her position as the best at the time. Shelly Ann is not only breaking records, she's also making her home proud as the first Caribbean woman to win gold in the 100-meter race. She's an absolute icon and a role model for female Caribbean athletes. Even almost a decade later, she was able to take a gold medal home again in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics for the 4x100 meter relay race. It looks like she's not showing any signs of slowing down. Also, this is just me counting her gold medals, but she's won silver and bronze a total of five other times in the Olympics. If that doesn't prove her lightning fast speed, she's also won gold a total of 10 times in the World Athletics Championship out of her 14 total medal wins. The other four medals were silver too, so she's always right up there with the best. Now I can't even imagine the fear in parents' faces when she bolted right past them at her son's sports day race at school. Imagine showing up for your child's sports day and signing up for a race for fun, only to find yourself standing next to a three-time Olympic gold medalist. I would honestly run back home. A video of the whole race even went viral on social media, of Shelly Ann showcasing her sheer speed against her fellow parents. It's almost the same as a car competing against a snail. Now it's pretty obvious she was going to leave the other parents in the dust. But apparently when she won, the person behind her was almost halfway through the track. Even the viral video of the race was just 11 seconds long. One of the parents even tried to talk smack to her, trying to psych her out of winning the race weeks before it took place. I don't even know whether to call it stupidity or courage, but someone actually thought they could beat Shelly Ann. Apparently, two weeks were left until the race, and a parent sent her photos while working out, even going so far as to say that she was coming for Shelly Ann. The Olympian thought that the parent was just joking, but I guess not, because they really tried to win the race afterwards. I don't know about Shelly Ann, but I would take some major offense to that. Well, I guess in the end, the gold medalist left all the smack talk behind her, along with the smack talker herself, after speeding past them in the race. Heck, Shelly Ann said that the parent was even eyeing her down, thinking she was playing some crazy mind game. The absolute audacity to challenge someone whose job it is to be the best in the world at sprinting to a foot race. Honestly, I need confidence like that in my life too. I do have to appreciate the fighting spirit though, because even after Shelly Ann demolished the track reaching first place, the smack-talking parent apparently took second place. Good for her. I would say better luck next year, but I don't think it's really a safe bet as long as Shelly Ann is involved. The Jamaican athlete wasn't the only one from her family competing in the sports day though, her son and husband were also competing in their own events. Obviously, in the world of sports, genetics matter a whole lot, so the sports day was going to become a test for her family's athleticism. Her five-year-old son Zion ended up falling in an event but still managed to place third. It seems like he inherited some of his mother's fighting spirit. Shelly Ann's husband was also competing in the dad race, trying his hand at his wife's profession. He placed fourth, but to his credit, someone else usually handles the sports department in the family. Honestly, not too bad overall because taking back a bronze in fourth place is fine for any common family. Shelly Ann, however, didn't want to be like any other common family. Apparently, she didn't want to ruin the competition for the other people and planned on sitting out of the races. But after seeing the positions her family members took, she didn't want to sit idle anymore. The other parents were so close to having a chance at winning if only she'd have stayed out. Not anymore, though, because now the athlete mother had already taken things personally. Shelly Ann said that it wouldn't have looked good if she had let things stay like that, even going as far as to say that she had to preserve her name. That, right there, is the exact moment I'd have resigned from the race. The internet, though, couldn't stop watching. The viral video sparked a hilarious reaction from fans. The original post gained more than 12 million views and thousands of retweets. Everyone found the whole situation very wholesome, while some people were left wondering how the school could even allow her to compete. In all honesty, they're not wrong either, because that's definitely unfair to all the parents working desk jobs. But hey, if Shelly Ann doesn't get to flex here, then I don't know where else she could. After all, it's really entertaining to watch. A lot of people amusingly 
even called it bullying by how large a margin she beat the other parents, and some were of the view that whoever competed in the race had bragging rights for life, that they competed in a race with three-time Olympic gold medalist Shelly Ann Fraser Price. If I look at it that way, it might even be worthwhile eating dust in a race against the Olympian. Some eagle-eyed fans were speculating how much effort she might be putting in, and decided it might even be somewhere around half of what her actual serious effort looks like. It just goes to show what a speed demon she is on the track. She does, however, plan on putting all of her effort into her next and potentially final time competing in the 2024 Olympic Games. Currently, Fraser Price stands as the third fastest woman in the world and stated that she'd like to become the first. Her personal best stands at 10.60, but her new goal is to reach 10.4 seconds, while the current world record is 10.49, which was made all the way back in 1988. The Jamaican sprinter says that she's been putting all her effort into beating the record, but in case she doesn't, she'll have no regrets as long as she tries her hardest. Unfortunately for her fans, the sprinter has publicly announced that the 2024 Olympics will be her last time competing before she ultimately retires. By the time the next Olympics come around, she'll be around 37 years old, which is remarkably difficult to maintain at her level. Seeing as she was 21 the first time she competed in 2008, being the youngest in her finals. That means she's currently going strong after 15 years of one of the best careers in her sport. Honestly, that's way past the mark of an outstanding career. She says her coaches and teammates believe that she can still compete for the next 10 years, but only she can decide the path her life takes in the end. She also plans on inspiring young female sprinters by competing in 2024 to show that even entering the Olympics in their 30s isn't necessarily a bad thing. What a role model of an athlete she is. Even in the middle of all this, somehow, she still manages to balance her parental duties along with her Olympic lifestyle. She became a mother back in 2017 and proves that even after the effect childbirth had on her life, she can still compete at the Olympic level. That's not something to be downplayed either, because it takes some hardcore effort to get to where Shelly Ann is currently at. In fact, in 2022, the Olympian mom gave an interview saying that she wants mothers to not hide behind motherhood, but rather to use the strength and passion it gives them to truly make it a part of their identity. She's a true inspiration to other athletes, like fellow Olympic champion Allison Felix, who became a mother in 2018 and will also compete in the 2024 Olympics as her last. I can't even begin to imagine how much determination it would take to put so much effort into practice, only to come home to the responsibility of raising a child. According to Fraser Price, it requires a lot of creative ways to find time to practice, which only gets increasingly difficult. At the end of the day, though, it does give her the ability to blast through her competition in her son's school sports day, so it's all worthwhile if you ask me. So, from being the perfect symbol for balancing motherhood and an athletic career, to being a three-time Olympic gold medalist sprinter. That's all there is to know about Shelly Ann Fraser Price beating parents in her son's sports day race.